Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create underwater text. So this text right here in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a pretty easy effect to pull off and it looks really neat if you're like opening up a, you know, a beach vlog or something where you have underwater footage to just put that text in there and make it look like it's actually affected by the wave movement. So let's get started. This is a pretty easy effect to pull off. What we need to do is create ourselves a new sequence and then drag in our background footage. In this situation, I'm just using this background footage of the water sort of going over the top with some sun rays coming down. We're then going to go up to our type tool, or you can click T to get to that tool. Click on our, our sequence anywhere and then type in whatever we want. In this situation, it's going to be underwater. And what I'm going to be using for this is the show card gothic text. What you want is some a very bold faced, uh, sort of a tall text where there's a lot of white space that's being created whenever you make this text that it's gonna be, you know, just sort of all encompassing. So you don't want something like Source Code Pro where it's really, really thin. Stencil might work really well. Um, it could be a, uh, a good one to use, but like I said, I go just go with the uh, Show Card Gothic right here. It's a very, very strong type. Then we're going to go ahead and just scale it up a touch, make it look good. So go over here, scale it up a little bit, center it. We can just click on these two buttons right here to center it. And so now we have centered, really large text. We're then going to go over into our effects panel. We're going to search for turbulent, and this is gonna bring up turbulent displace under video effects, distort turbulent displace. We're going to take turbulent displace and drag it on to our text. And you can already see the underwater effect has begun. We're then going to click on our underwater text, go up to effect controls, uh, the effect control panel in the top left. Then we're going to scroll down until we see the turbulent displace effect. We're going to go ahead and reduce the size just a little bit, uh, depending on, I mean, if you have like really, really w rough waves in the background, you can do that. You can make it like really, really uh, turbulent, but we're going to go ahead and just reduce it down. So we have some more, uh, something that matches this a little bit where they're a little, they're short choppy. And then we're gonna reduce the amount just a little bit as well. So it's not as extreme. So if we brought this all the way up, it just gets completely unreadable. So we're gonna bring it down to just a little bit of water movement in the background. Then we're going to go ahead and go to the offset. So if we go right here, we're gonna go hit offset. And this is going to be the, the displacement. So we go over time, maybe up to five seconds here. And then I'm just going to drag this over a bunch. And all this is doing is, as you can see, it's just sort of moving the turbulent displace over the text. And now you have the underwater animation going right there. What I like to do is just to always with effects like this is to top them off with a little foreground element. So I just brought this bubble effect in that I found online. And what we can do is we can just click on this bubble effect, go to blend mode, and then set it to screen. And now we have the bubbles and they actually go in front of the text. This again, it sets it off, uh, it just gives it that realistic element because now the, the text is not just sitting on top of water, now it's within the water because there's actually an element in front of it. And I'm going to reduce the opacity of this just a little bit, just to give it back to the background a little bit. And then in the underwater, the text, I like to reduce the opacity a touch in there as well. So that if we have like, you know, I don't know, a, a swimmer going by or a boat or a shark or something, it'll be just in the text a little bit, making it look just that bit more realistic. And so now our end product is this right here. And that is how easy it is to do. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see my videos similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.